Welcome to Around the Reel with your host, Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hale. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Check one, check, check two, check, check three, check, check. Three. Are you saying check or check? How many checks? I, I always I always say check. How many checks could a Chuck check? Yes. If a Chuck well, could check, check? If a Chuck. There's a lot more checks than there are Chucks. Yeah. <laughs> check. Check Chuck. Check Chuck. Uh, I don't I don't do hockey. Cool I don't play hockey even though I'm white. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um yeah. What what'd you say, Chase? I'm sorry. No, um, it was, it, like every time somebody talks like a different background, I, I like the setup um, that I just seen with the Michael Myers mask. and Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was uh, was really cool. Yeah, that's at Chuck's place. Um, do, you, do you have your screen set so you can see all of us at once, or is it kind of bouncing? No. If you, swipe, bouncing. If you swipe. swipe across on your phone, you'll probably see all of us. Oh, nobody ever taught me that. No that shit. Amazing. How about that? Well, yeah. Now you can see us welcome to 1999. Cool. Right. It, it felt like 1999. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And the only reason I knew you were on the phone because you sent me that picture. So thank you. I appreciate it because then I know what's going on. And sometimes it does that on the phones. Um, usually you can click the link. You just put you right in the lobby. But whatever. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. You're here anyway. So. Yes. yes. Just like been all a of long us, time Zoom coming. is not perfect. Mm-hmm. Zoom, yeah, no, Zoom is not perfect. You know, StreamYard isn't either. Nothing, Nothing is perfect. perfect. What about, what about? You owe me a Coke. What about um, I think my experience with StreamYard, uh, um, and, and I don't know if this is something that you guys might experience. I, I clicked on the wrong room chat, and there was some kind of orgy going on. No oh. shit. Oh, badass, dude. <laughs> dude, that's uh, I was like... Uh, I, I, I entered the wrong room. It was it was so weird. <laughs> it was like vampire podcast, uh, <laughs> movies and beyond. You gotta step up the game. That's fucking hilarious, Chase. Oh I my love gosh, it. that's no, funny. I, yeah, I was I was late for a meeting because I was having trouble like this, and then I clicked it in the wrong room, and I was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> awkward. Man. It was very very awkward. That's, that's so funny. Funny. Good stuff, good stuff. I, that wasn't our experience with StreamYard, but I kind of wish it was, because it's kind of <laughs> That would be way better. Well, I, don't think you wanted, I don't think you wanted to enter that. Oh, room. not that one? That oh, was, okay. No. Well, I, I still felt like I was getting fucked with our experience with StreamYard as a company. Yeah, I, I couldn't unsee that. I told my wife, I was like, yeah, I'm going to stall on this, because I told her what I watched, and she laughed. I'm like, it wasn't funny. <laughs> he said it's not funny at all. Was she laughing? It wasn't funny. <laughs> Yeah, she was laughing. I, I bet like, she I was. I guess she thought I was kidding. I don't know. I was like, that wasn't funny. That's not something I want to walk in on uh, ever again. <laughs> That's crazy oh, stuff. That's so funny. That would never happen to me. I'd get lucky and end up in right, Chuck's like, private room or something. What are you guys and be like, doing? Oh, it's like a, a, a group masturbation meeting? Or? Oh, you know what I'm no. saying? That's <laughs> terrible, but I'm sure like they have them. do anything. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> too funny man wow oh my gosh i swear this happened like i i I can't unsee that i can't even make that up i bet no no. well now i'm really not getting streaming again i know because i mean like the crazy thing because like for me seeing that that last interview i I wasn't doing pretty good because it was kind of like they're like chase you're like did i really see that or (laughs) you're right bro you're like i don't know just give me a minute (laughs) yeah i mean yeah, it was it was um, nothing I've ever seen before. That's an that. experience. Dude, that's that is funny. an experience. Wow, that's funny. <sighs> well, it's been a long time coming for us trying to get you on the show. I know I was trying for a while, and no pun intended. It just. No. <laughs> <laughs> right? it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. You're <laughs> saying walking right into that. I one. walked yep. right into it. Straight into it. Sam. <laughs> it's just like a sim. Oh, that's terrible. I didn't mean to, though. Yeah, we've, we've been oh, no, I, need, I need to get. I need to get serious. I don't need to get canceled. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no one's gonna cancel no. you. No, because like it's, fun it's, it's weird because since my social media following has been really, really, really high, it, people get you so... get weirdos, right? Oh my god! Like, okay, um, I Break it down the comment about Kirsten Dunst. Granted, she's about seven months older than me. 
Um, we were talking about the movie Small Soldiers, and I admit it, this is where she was kind of seasoning to where she, she became my crush. And somebody screenshotted that, sent it to my wife, was like, just so you know, this is to your husband. Oh, my. Oh my. Implying that I'm talking about a child, and I'm like, Chris, is six months older than me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would have responded now, back said, like, well, I hope so. Right. Now, if I just said that being 41 years old, and I said that about Millie Bobby Brown, right. then granted, I can understand the context right. like, dude that's like well no she's 18 now isn't she yeah she might but, be she's, I, she's, she's, she is, right there. she is 19 but he <laughs> were still 19 she's still a teen we are no, old no, chuck I'm, okay <laughs> i know but uh, yeah i'm 41 i don't know nothing with that you we're know what all, i mean but yeah, like we're all right there yeah and, and it, even if i was like on the internet like oh my god i mean even though technically <laughs> yes legal age it would still make me look like harvey weinstein Correct. Uh, you know, Goes like I couldn't do it. Any- Chuck, understand yeah, that? Yeah, right, yeah, because I, I have a thirteen-year-old daughter. Same. So yeah, we, we have a thirteen-year-old daughter. Yep, yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't even possibly think about looking at Millie Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, totally. I, I, I like it. mature. Like women that girls that age would be more obnoxious. To me. I feel bad going <laughs> to like the bikini baristas nowadays because I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's I some shouldn't fucked eat. up shit. I'm a little old for this place. We talk about that all the time. I know we do. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> but they're so happy to see a girl. They're like, oh, hi. I know. I used to always think to myself, I want to keep my, my baby off the pole. And now I'm thinking, I don't want her to work in a fucking coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to keep her out of the little box in yeah. the random area. Fuck that. It's crazy <laughs> because like now, like you can order those and like people are just mm. Facebooking it, doing that. I'm like, wow, just, what it's times crazy. are in? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's crazy. And with daughters, you're like, you got to really <laughs> like be pay attention to what they're doing. I'd like to introduce Chase Dudley to the show today. <laughs> and Chase, would you would you please let the audience know who you are and what you do? Hi, so I am Chase Dudley. Um, I am a filmmaker. I am an a uh, film entrepreneur per se. So I direct, I uh, occasionally act, of course, I consult, I um, location scout, I do a little bit of everything because in the indie world, you have these unlimited hats that you have to wear. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, and really consulting really is majority of what you're doing to get your movie made. You, you're you trying to um, find people who are trying to... Um, do i mean basically are you're trying to find like your tribe of people um to make this greater good of a product called a movie and um you meet a lot of very interesting characters (laughs) 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 including myself (laughs) but it's the insanity that we sign up for that we like this it's a calling it's like when nature calls yeah we don't know why we do it we just do it we're like in sync i don't understand (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we've asked Well, let me just say, welcome question. to Around the Real. Thank you, Chuck. Yes, welcome to our show. <laughs> um, even though we've been on the show as well. But, um, yeah. yeah, man. Um, like Sam was saying, we've, we've been wanting to talk to you for a very long time. We've been watching what you do. And, uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, and the growth that you've, you've created. Um, I, I was just looking at your Facebook the other day, too, and I was just like, holy shit, look at all the followers this guy's got. He's not fucking around on Facebook. I thought I was, like, doing well. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, he's got like I, over 20,000 views? That's fucking great. Um, yeah, it's like 133 now, I Damn. think. Um, 133,001. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that really happened. Um, that was not something um, I planned, although I'm very, very blessed. Um, because it is very interesting of talking your favorite movie talks and this... Um, definitely just a lot of interesting point of views that you know of course you always wonder and um because i always just share movies and stuff that i really like to watch and just a lot of people just started really engaging um and then people was like oh i didn't even realize you were the filmmaker (laughs) and i was like wow yeah um yeah i should probably promote that more but um I just I really like watching movies, um, TV shows. Um, I just I'm, I love art, man. I, I can't get enough of it. Um, I can I can like as long as I can remember, man. Is just watching movies. I was that weird kid that never wanted to go outside as a kid, um, and 
I just watched the movies all day and memorized them. And I was the kind of kid that everyone was like, he's really weird. He just watched movies and called them all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like, like, I was, it was kind of like, I was kind of like uh, Jim Carrey and the cable guy in a sense. I gotcha. It's like I, gotcha. I said things. It's a giant I sponge was, bringing everything yeah, in I and thought, thought that was, was your cool. life. Yeah, like I thought that was cool, but not, a lot of people th- didn't think so much. I was. <laughs> I totally well, it gives did. you a chance to start acting young when you're acting out everything that you've watched. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's all I did growing up. Like, and, um, I, I made myself laugh. <laughs> but like now, like, you, I mean, I do it on social media and Facebook lives and people uh, just started to really enjoy it. So it's kind of like I, I, I was hoping that was the case when I was younger. Um, but, you know, I, I just was so like very socially awkward. Uh, like Jim Carrey said in The Cable Guy, I've learned the facts of life by watching the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good because the facts of life are all about you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you remember the song, I do remember the song. <laughs> no, that's... Dude, that was a very that was really cool. <laughs> We're all nerds here. Yeah, welcome. We are. No, we I, are. I I love it. I've um, that was some of the you know things like definitely watching movies with people who really was very knowledgeable about movies and stuff like that. We just sit there and just eat stuff up like that, and mm-hmm. that's the kind of people I love talking to. Um, because uh, that's that's my that's my tribe of people, and just knowing that I'm not alone in that, you know, I you used to feel, feel like I was alone because yeah. I couldn't find you guys when we was little. There was no social media, nothing like that. But like now, I'm I'm like maybe it wasn't so weird. <laughs> exactly. So how did you how did you get into the art then? Like how did that happen? Well, we was I mean very poor. My, my mom was you know single mom of three. Um, it, before I got my camcorder, I, I used to record like with like the tapes, and we just used to do voice uh, voice work. So I, I was probably a voice actor before I was uh, on a camera, and we, that's how we used. To, me and my cousins, we used to do characters and stuff like that. And we all sit there and listen. And I finally got my camera at 15 years old, and um, you know I used to bring it to school and just record stuff and try to get my friends to be in my movies and nobody wanted to do any of that so like it came to the point where i had to start finding creative ways to you know do movies um you know like and and that probably sounded really weird <laughs> but um but no like it, it was like I, I had like do like what steven spielberg did where he like would make cars and and like fake um like hills as mountains and stuff like that and um i i rarely used any live action so i was kind of almost like anime but like not really because i didn't have an editing software so it was it was like i had to do really weird stuff to, to make a movie I got you. Okay. So yeah. you said, do you mean like stop action or do you mean more like an anime? Yeah, I'm stop sorry. action. Yeah, stop action. Okay. Um, like toys to make them look like real live people and stuff like that. My friends, they they, they wanted to do they suck. normal, they suck. yeah, normal <laughs> teenage stuff. Uh, let's go to a party, man, and just get drunk. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to go make a movie. Like, and, and <laughs> you know, like. Um, and then like derby because I, I live in kentucky um and they have this thing called derby every year that comes every may and um i used to record a lot of that stuff and then like um i i used to get in trouble because women would do the weirdest things <laughs> like when they're drunk and they have unconscious and stuff like that and one time my mom found all my tapes and she's like what is that so i'm like oh is this recording like <laughs> just going walking up and down because well, once i got my camcorder i just recorded everything I like stuff. i mean yeah, like, because yeah. it was just me and my camera. So I just try to find stuff to record. And then I met somebody in school named Dave Rogers, and he was into that kind of stuff. And we loved the screen movie. So we used to, like, make little short films where we'll kill off his little sister. And <laughs> and we used to do all kinds of stuff. And, like, of course, those tapes are burned now. But, um, you know, I made my first movie, though, kind of late um, because... I didn't, I mean, I kind of gave up on it for a while. I went into pro wrestling. Um, I wrestled for OVW in my in mo- majority of my 20s because back then there was no social media. There was no Facebook. I didn't join Face or MySpace until like 2007. Um, somebody would, yes. 
somebody was like, yeah, why don't you just get MySpace? And I'm like, what is MySpace? I'm like, MySpace. <laughs> like, but what is it? <laughs> and then I was like, there's, like, I was so oblivious because I never got on the computer. Like, uh, and they're like, dude, you can, like, it's like a platform you can get on, you can talk to people. I'm like, that's the thing. I used to go into the AOL chat rooms <laughs> and you get roasted real quick in there. <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> that was the the rudest room you can ever go in. Right. Like today's social media would never survive in the AOL uh, chat room. They were brutal back then. They were brutal. Oh, yeah. it was crazy. Yep. It's, it's it rakes right up there with comedy back then. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Yeah. You know when it was uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and and that's unfortunate because it's like now you can't say a joke without it being personal, and the whole point of a joke is not to be personal. It's 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 hence the word joke. Because I exactly like um, I don't know how we got there because that's naturally my personality, and I really have to watch what I say to people because naturally I'm a jokester. Um, I, that's like one of the first things I would naturally do. Um, because <laughs> I grew up in that era, you got on the bus and you sat down, you either joked or you got joked on. Exactly. Um, yes, you did. That was the era that I grew up in. And it was like, you know, your mama jokes. And, mm-hmm. you know, like it wasn't, it wasn't no, like it wasn't a hostile environment to where you say that now and it's like you're all of a sudden you're you know this this and this and so many labels that you're like wow you only know me for like two minutes <laughs> <laughs> and it's like now people they talk to you for 30 seconds and they, like, they know your whole life story <laughs> exactly yeah it, it's a different place man i uh i was watching blazing saddles not too long ago and oh my god i know well, and within the fir- within the first six minutes, I had to make a post about it. Like this shit would never, ever be made. To never me. get made. Never, ever. And- Horrible bosses. We're the Millers. Um, yeah. You know, and, and the crazy thing is, is like, just to know that Family Guy was only like a decade ago. It's crazy. Yeah. It because is- Family Guy, they did not hold no, back. Not at all. And like they said, jokes where you know people looked at me and they're like. Well, you're not offended. I'm like, no, it's a joke. Like, right? You know, like <laughs> they're making like, they, yeah. they, they, Family Guy, they, King of the Hill. I mean, everybody has exactly. their own genre of different whack no, cartoon I mean, comedy. Family, that was all there. Family Guy was really like, whoa, like that that episode the day after Lincoln um, freed the slaves, and then like their guy's grass was high, and they were like, hey, uh, your grass need cut. He's like, yeah, I had a guy for that, and it's like that could never <laughs> fly today. No, it couldn't. It but it's couldn't. like. And it's, it's like, funny. yes, we all know that that was a horrible time, but just the irony of that line, it's like, come on, that does not mean that that person is racist or, you know, and it's like, we, we say words with very little meaning today where it's, it just, I don't know, like, um, it's desensitized we can't say anything fuck. without it. It's like, you feel, you feel like in a giant timeout chair. Like, I feel yeah. like I'm in detention all day, all day every day. Yeah. 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 And some people, I, I think people forget that healing comes from comedy and laughing about, if you're able to laugh about this, the serious shit and you're able to laugh about it, you're getting through it. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're getting through it. Yeah. And so people forget that. Yeah. That, that that's a good yeah. way to deal with things and hard things that are that I, I, if i could not laugh agree, at so. my childhood of being you know very very poor <laughs> to the point where you know like I, I mean like i couldn't even like describe this i mean what it was like for a mom of three boys you did know you, let me ask you a question <laughs> um, did you get to go to by, mcdonald's at the first of the month like i did <laughs> No. Okay, I, I got that. My mom would get you know, she would get McDonald's that welfare was. check. She would get that welfare you check, and I could that. go to McDonald's. No, see, my mom never she never applied for that. She was a very proud lady. Oh my Man. goodness! Uh, oh, my mom didn't give a fuck. A, you know, <laughs> you know, you know what it was. You know what it was. She was like, I was like, I want a McDonald's burger. I can make a McDonald's burger. And oh, just like Eddie Murphy. Basically, a hamburger that That's thing. Like you weird. He's like, yeah, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. He's the regular, right. No, this is exactly what it is. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating. Uh-huh. That is a McDonald's hamburger. It's a welfare burger. That was exactly 
how my mom thought. Mm -hmm. You know, like anything you said, they asked if you had that kind of money. Hey, mom, it's peanut butter and jelly. You got some peanut butter and jelly money? <laughs> like, like, I guess. <laughs> right? But that is true, though. But that's what makes it so funny because yeah. it's universal. Right. It is universal. Right. And everyone knows what that's like. Mm -hmm. That's our age. Mm -hmm. Like, even, I don't, I don't care what race you are. My mom said that same shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I no, know, see, like, and, it don't matter. You know, it's... you know what, though? <laughs> and that's why I like George Carlin as a comedian, because he, he focused on some of those similarities that we all have. Right. Yes, I mean, like, because um, yeah. being poor is not a racial no, problem. No, not <laughs> at all. <laughs> being poor, no, poor is, don't give a is, fuck. Who that knows? is the two thirds of, 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 most the you know i guess is how it is it it's is the cost of living keeps yeah. going up and yeah. it's like different different things like mm -hmm. and you know like because me growing up and all of my friends you know being white and i go over their house and like how their their parents talk and i was like country people and then like me seeing how some of my ghetto um uncle and aunts were and i'm like y'all are more similar than y'all think yeah exactly <laughs> there is more similarities fuck yeah yeah, yeah. there's, there's more similarities and, and there are there's differences the and that's what people <laughs> don't they focus so much on the differences that they don't realize there's more similarities than differences right right yep it's crazy yeah, i i kind of i kind of grew up like you chase so it's kind of the same <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, I went to all white school, McDonald's, too. He got McDonald's, though. I did get McDonald's. He got McDonald's. Once yeah, a month, I got McDonald's. Only, growing up, the only time I'd gone to McDonald's was at their church when my Aunt Ella gave us a $5 bill. <laughs> oh, no, don't. See, that's she gave me and my She gave me and my brothers $5, and we cashed that in, because that was the only money we ever spent. Yeah, bro. And you're like, and we're you going tear, to McDonald's. You could tear some shit up at McDonald's for 5 bucks back in the day, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Back then, dude, you can get a big bag. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. And, and, and this was a super size fry. Yeah, yep. and a milkshake. And a shake. <laughs> and, they still, and they still the fries all the way up. All right? the way. Right? All the way. Like, That's yeah. It, sure, it, like, now it won't Those even go were the past days. The, now you can't get out of there without spending like 50 bucks. It's fucking McDonald's, bro. No. Mickey D's is not Mickey D's no more. It's, not anymore. it's a fucking it's high class same, restaurant. It's still the same shit food. It's just I know. More. It's like fucking Demolition Man. Welcome to Taco Bell. It, it, it's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have to disagree with you because growing up to me, I feel like I remember McDonald's being much tastier. I do, yeah, kind of, yeah. I, it might, no, have, been the, like, it might no, have been the, the styrofoam, fries, bro. The styrofoam, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah the styrofoam right. has this flavor. Yeah. It gives this, Whatever this, it was. This when, when you get the burger and the styrofoam was melting, I mean, that was a good fucking burger, right? It was <laughs> eating mm -hmm. through that shit. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Well, no, it was remember, they had, they had to make everything, you know, gluten-free and, that, you know, all these things to make sure that everybody who <laughs> wants to cancel the now? planet could make everything more flavorful. However, let me be the first one to tell you all, all you people, all those people who still think that McDonald's fries are really good, you know why that is? It's because they, they, they do them in beef, beef broth. Salt. That's why the fries taste so good. So everybody who thinks that they're vegetarian and they're just getting the fries. Stop. Sorry. Yes. That, that reminds Sorry. me of the movie This Is Forty when he was like, No, we know this, 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 and this Paul Ruff was like, What's left? I know what's left. What the fuck is left, dude? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, something I would that's the best. That's the best. You're right. One of my favorites. Yep. Too funny. <laughs> well, uh, so true. Okay, so you you grow up, you you get you get the knowledge of what it's like not to have a lot, and mm -hmm. then you've got this this thing inside you. Well, that's you're creative. Like creative kid, right? right? The so bat. then he wants to move in and try to try to tell stories because you watch all these great movies when you're growing up and you love them so yeah. much. So, what was the next steps for you? How did you? How did you even decide to? What really I'm try this? was what, it? Super Eight what, or? <laughs> no, honestly, the movie. When I really decided that I have a love for filmmaking, um, of course, my favorite movie being Jurassic Park, um, mm, okay. and you know, Child's Play uh, was a was another movie, but the movie that really I felt turned my soul on where I was like, I don't know how it is, what they're doing, but this is what I want to do was uh, Wes Craven Scream 1996. Okay. I'm not seeing really? that in theater. Wow, okay. I was so obsessed with that movie. I, I used to buy these bear books and write stories and you know, I was like, man, some way I'm gonna I'm gonna get my big break in the movies. But Scream was Was that the movie. the movie that really like inspired you? It really was. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, and and, uh, and and 
it just because that's the I mean oh man I, I just horror back there is crazy. in the eighties yeah, yeah. yeah the, the horror in the eighties and the nineties just hit so different they sure as fuck did they sure as fuck did well I, and that's interesting too because I mean that's that shows the no offense it shows the age difference because where your mm -hmm. scream hitting in ninety six ours ours are Nightmare on Elm Street Halloween Friday the thirteenth hitting back in the early 80s because we're 10 well, fucking I don't old. know if you're necessarily correct <laughs> no. because I'm Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and I'm 44. Yeah. So. And I'm, I'm, yeah, but, I'm you're right, but Sam, you're right in the middle. I'm you know, in the middle, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you've, you you you've got some leeway, Sam. I, I'm, I'm with that. I, I get the scream thing, though, because it, it was a very... Yeah well-written new yeah, kind of genre based slasher it was, it was so different, different. And, and, and not even and not even yeah. just like because i mean the cinematic aspect just the the, the creep value screen yeah. was the first movie that really kind of brought you into the real world of what cell phones can go mm -mm. Yeah. yeah somebody yeah. can literally be good watching point. you good point in the comfort of your own home yeah. and you have no clue right. and that's the part where like where it scream it opens up it gets right to the point and when he was like so do you have a boyfriend and she's like why you want to ask me on a date yeah. and he's like Maybe. yeah do you have a boyfriend and she's like no and he's like you never told me your name and she's like why do you want to know my name and he's like because i want to know what i'm looking at yeah anywhere. and then the camera zooms in and she's like what did you just say? And then you hear the dogs barking. Yeah. What did you do when you're in the middle of nowhere and somebody said they're watching you? You're they're watching you, barking. and you can, and they <laughs> say barking. something, and you know they're actually yeah. watching you. Yeah, that's creepy as shit. Yeah. I'm and sorry, one of the best but, yeah. lines ever. I'm gonna gut you like a fish. I love that. Line. I love that. I like, line. I like that part, but I like this part. You should never say who's there. Don't you watch every movie? It's a you might go out and investigate a strange noise or something. Oh, basically shit. very meta yeah no, very yes. meta into yeah. what it, you're watching uh -huh. but right. you are now really because like okay he rung the doorbell you know someone's watching yeah. and you're like you know and she she can call the police yeah but are you going to make it in time right and, with, and that brought up a whole yeah. different point. Yeah, it, and, it's a creep factor like that was kind of never really done quite that way. I, uh, is that was, I, I get you. There. Yeah, it was Kevin Williamson. That. Is that who wrote those? I think. Yeah, it was. yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Wrote, he wrote Scream. Yeah. in a single weekend. Yeah, um, and, and, right. and, and that was such work ethic. It's and brilliant. Who would have known? Well, that, that's a thirty-year franchise going fresh. Yeah, right. But he yeah. he tapped it's, into everybody. So Spike Glass screws it up. Right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he yeah. was brilliant by writing that. But he tapped into everybody's like fear, fear, yeah. but everybody's knowledge yes. of horror movies in general. So we all have watched yeah, the movies that they're talking the about. Sequences. So it just brings you right in. Yeah, yeah, and not even just that, but just like you didn't think Drew Barrymore was going to die because everybody knows who Drew Barrymore was at that yeah. time. And you're like, oh, well, yeah. she's going to have to survive. Yeah, that's our yeah. hero. But could you imagine the horror of a parent? When you pick up the phone and you're calling 911 as you hearing your flesh and blood daughter being stabbed and mutilated on right, the other like, end. Is there a worse Brutal. scenario? Brutal. No. It's been knowing no. that that all happened under your nose. Yeah. yeah. Um, right in the fucking back. That was the scary part about it. Yeah. You know? Well, I feel like in the yeah. upkeep with the technology, where with them just trying to fit in with the technology technology that was going on minus um, i always want to know what kind of cell phone service well, yeah they had i mean minus I'm that but in I the mean, middle of nowhere now it, it was verizon they the spent good money are a little bit slower than you know actual technology but <laughs> but no but i felt like because that was actual well i mean it took us a while to realize our real concerns <laughs> and what were our real fears yeah and to, you know so when that came out like that was like oh shit like i'm not the only one that actually thinks oh shit that's scary right right <laughs> like that's so it takes a while i mean movies are a little behind a little bit and i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to downplay scream i mean i love no, scream. i love it i mean i, I love it I more than it's... the other movie but the other movie i keep thinking of that, that goes back to the original thought process of somebody watching you and not knowing where they are when a stranger calls yeah i mean i mean i love it i love it I love strangers. That, the was remake, really, so. that was really well done too because the first words he said was about 45 minutes into the movie and he said what well, she's like what do you want he's like your blood, blood all, all over, over me, me. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> yeah it's brutal yeah well i've always been a horror kid my whole life and my entire life and i love the cube is one of my favorites i love the cube mm -hmm. but um there are very very few that can actually scare me i mean like 
I, See, I do not was that like for me growing up. Yeah, just it doesn't, it can't scare me. So if something scares me like that, hits hard for me. And there are very, very few that have ever done that. Very few. Yeah, no, see, and, and agree. Very few movies. See, for me, growing up, I was terrified of Freddy. Yep. Me Michael too. Myers never really bothered me. It scared um, me, too. <laughs> not me. Uh, Chucky, I, don't know why Chucky I, I wanted to be Chucky's friend. I never was afraid <laughs> no, of Chucky. I want a buddy like that. But Freddy, <laughs> Freddy terrified me to the point where my mother had to call my, sib uh, my uh, aunt and uncle. And because we had this really old tub, and I like would not a take a bath because I was convinced Freddie like was going it. to take me underwater. <laughs> oh, that yeah. scene where he yanks down. Yeah. So it took everybody to hold me down underwater, and everybody oh, got no. soaked with me because mm -hmm. I wasn't going there alone, oh, brother. That's a family right there. Let me there. tell you what I was. I tell I've told the story before. I was 11 years old when I saw that in the theater. My dad took me. And oh, then after we saw see. it in the theater, I, I mean, at the end of the movie, you remember the popcorns that you get with in the box? That you could get oh, back yeah. in the day that that fucking box was empty and i had it opened up like fucking binoculars i was watching the end of fucking <laughs> like this See, so i got through the movie when I... <laughs> I get through the movie brother and i go home and he drops me back off at my mom's house and i was like oh no i'm not afraid it was a great movie mom but when i went to bed i couldn't do it and i went and slept mm. in my mom's room at 11 years old on the floor and she's calling my dad cussing him out on the phone <laughs> about taking me to go see this shit now she's got to deal with me i'm crying crawling under my mom's fucking bed where all the lays potato chips are <laughs> like, but that made a man out of you though it you? did dude it did so i'm with you with freddie freddie fucking fuck me up yeah Freddy. and and um i took i took our kids to go see the conjuring too they were like six oh, oh. Um, yeah they were six God. you know six years um, old bust them yeah get them oh, ready wow. i would like and I remember, yeah, uh, that part where the, the guy grabbed, um, this is my house. My son pissed, seriously pissed the movie theater. Oh, poor guy. Oh, it's good for him, Sam. That's, and no, that's, and that's when the movie was I'm... over and we were leaving, uh, you know, of course, as we got home, they were going up the stairs and they couldn't, um, they couldn't quite see. It was dark. And all of a sudden, I just grabbed them. No, shut up. Oh, gotta no, do it. that's hardcore. <laughs> Oh, that's the best shit Daddy, can I sleep with you? No. No. You got tough this one out, big boy. It's good for him. It's good for him. God no, we've it. never shied away what, our kids from They're that. They're not scared of anything now. No, now they, and it works. Brave it. It works. No, no, because I mean, I, I, I had to watch everything that my parents watched growing I was up. Never, in, yeah, in, I never had I did rules. Too. I never yep. had rules. I was never shied from anything, and I literally was not scared of anything. Like, like I said, I, like Freddie didn't scare me, and I was younger than you guys. I was like five. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. okay, because I have I have some siblings that are like, oh, my kids don't watch rated R. Right. It's nothing. Whatever. I, we too, have too family too members like that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like. Please tell me what's the difference between them watching Mufasa get killed by his brother versus watching <laughs> whatever they're getting on YouTube there's, on their phones. There's violence. No, I mean, Everywhere. there's no matter you what you watch. You can't. You can't shelter them. You can't do yeah, it. Yeah, because I mean, well, it's of impossible. course. I mean, you know, you turn it on Looney Tunes and he gets hit in the head with a hammer. Yeah. And he's still uh, running around, and yeah. then they they think that that can happen. I mean, and then that's not quite so the reality. It's my point is is that there's nothing new under the sun, and however you look at it, it the violence is violence. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, well, and sex kids, is if you sex, hit somebody everything. in the head with a hammer, they stop moving, moving. if you do it right. <laughs> I, I feel like, though, that the kids that seem to do better with things that are outlandish, like cuss words, I mean, just anything, or violence, or whatever. The kids that do better are always the ones that are never sheltered. Like in our house, like our grandson, he's two years old. Two. Mm -hmm. He's two. And he watches Peepaw make the movies Make the horror verse movies, movies yeah. and they're they're violent you know mm -hmm. they're jason and freddie and <laughs> michael and, and they're I'm crazy i'm violent. proud of my yeah and they, i'm proud of my two-year-old mm -hmm. yeah that is awesome yeah. Yeah, i'm mean, proud yeah. of my two-year-old because if i wore a chucky shirt he's like chucky yeah my little yep. man <laughs> yep. he's two years old right right <laughs> michael and then i wore then i wore jigsaw the other day he went who's that and i'm like jigsaw so now he knows who jigsaw is right yeah there you go like that just, is my boy because yes. like you know he, he 
But when we watch it, he's not scared because right. he's like, oh, he Chucky. Knows. Yeah. He's just, it, they, exactly. it desensitizes <laughs> like, those I, My movie from room, that there's shit. a Chucky doll, there's yep. Jigsaw, there's, yeah. uh, I mean, we, I have a whole legitimate movie room. So yeah. he knows all of these yeah. Right. And that's, you know, that's the way to go with kids. If you desensitize them from that and just so you expose them to it. They, they're not afraid. And that's kind of, I feel like, well, and I don't know, I don't know everything. Some people choose to shelter their kids, it's whatever. But I feel like that's the best way to do it for me personally, because my kids have never been afraid of shit. Right. <laughs> Ever. The horrors of this planet. Are worse than the horrors yeah. of, in I mean, movies. Think yeah. think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, these, this is fucking make-believe. People. Yeah. You know, it's not real. You know, and if you yeah. let your kids know that, they're not stupid. And yeah, and I go that can I mean I have done things honestly that I I sometimes question. Like my brother was a heroin addict, and I had him around my kids, and he was crazy. Mm-hmm. He was crazy, you know, all up on drugs, crazy. But I felt like if I exposed them to that, they would see what it was really like. They would see that's reality, kid. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. And so I never shied them from anything. But you know what? My kids are There's really... There's their class. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's hardcore, it's you know? Drug, yeah, it's but hardcore. But it's, it's reality. Yeah, this is what Nowadays, it looks like, fuckers. You know, it's reality. And my I brother, mean, my I, brother I, died. You know, but, see, like, but this is how you shit, know kids so. are not... They, it's, but this it's is how you know kids it. are not dumb, though. They're not like, my dumb. Because <laughs> like my kids will see people act up, you know, kind of crazy. And, and they're like... And I'm like, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, exactly. They ain't going to touch those drugs. Then. No, it, no, I don't think. And I don't will. think my kids ever will. No. Because won't. of that. No, they saw um, it. They know. They saw what it was. Yeah. And I would, I didn't shy them from that. No, I'm not saying it's it's right or wrong. Some Everyone has their own way to raise their kids. But I just think everybody not has, them I don't care who is, you are. Helps. Yeah. Everybody has somebody in the family. That is on drugs. I don't. I don't care who Everybody. it is. Nowadays, Everybody. Yep. Everybody. Yep. No, it's all. I feel like or it's alcohol. always been because I mean, every oh, yeah. each generation was a it was an epidemic. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You know, when I was growing up, um, I had an auntie. She was a crackhead. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. I knew what it was. Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but did I but mean, it showed you right? Like it showed you like that's what I you mean. Me and my cousins happened. used to get a kick out of it. We just look at it like <laughs> crazy, you know. But yeah, uh, it's better than a kid being curious and going out and trying things because they're curious because they don't know about things. And I feel like that's what happens when you're sheltered. And the only reason why I say that is because I had a friend um, when I was growing up. Her her parents were teachers, and they sheltered the shit out of their kids like so bad. And she was crazy curious. And she did every bad thing known to man because she didn't know. And she, she was super anything. curious about the outside world because her parents were teachers and they were super like square bears mm-hmm. and they kept her from everything. And I was like, damn, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you yeah, know, I, that's well, what kind of happens when you shelter them. Sometimes. Yeah, I can't call, I mean, I don't like to try to call people's names. But oh, like, I, I love it. I do, yeah, but I, but I I do see your logic though because I mean you know with our kids we talk about everything. Everything. Like yeah. I mean I don't you know what I mean I don't shelter uh, things and especially today's climate really got to explain you know things to my kids. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting out for a year with certain. Yeah. Things. <laughs> they come to you with questions. You're like um. Yeah, like can you, give me I, a sec? you know I was at my son's. Uh, basketball game in fifth grade, and I heard these kids making fun of this girl because, like, they were like, she just went to go give somebody a blowjob. I'm like, yeah. uh, but in fifth grade, in fifth grade, <laughs> like, yeah, in fifth grade right? Yeah, <laughs> it happened. It's crazy. Whoa! You're like, wait, I wasn't uh, ready for that. Can you, <laughs> can you back up? <laughs> I have a well, slightly different my take on. Comes in a room and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, I have a slightly different take on that. I think the cancel culture comes from people trying to shelter their kids from everything. Oh, no, you can't let them hear that. Oh, no, you can't let them see that. See, I don't necessarily agree that the kids who are sheltered are the ones who are going to explore the most. I explored the shit out of life because I had the opportunity to do it. Who's but the I person think, who says what's fair to say? I mean, to say I mean you right? can't really, I don't yeah. Know. That's I'm the not judging anybody or, or claiming anything. I'm just saying for me personally, what worked for me was exposing my kids to everything. But that's just yeah, what I mean, worked I mean, for well, me. I think. I, think, I mean, oh, go ahead, Chuck. I mean, I was I was a young parent. I mean, I'm I'm 49 years old and I have no children. I mean, my kids are all adults. They're all having kids and saving the world and doing shit. Uh, 
So, I mean, so my, I'm right at that age range where I was a young parent, as opposed to somebody who is like Chase and a few years younger. Now Chase is like us. So Chase, you're not in this demographic because you expose, you're all about exposing yourself and your children to things. And that's a good thing. I'm always for exposing yourself to something. However, the most important thing is the fact that the people who are trying to shelter everybody, that's what cancel culture came from. You can't say that. You can't do that. That's not fair. I don't think it's right. Stop letting the fucking inmates run the asylum. Let's actually have some fun for a minute. Yeah. Sorry. That's a little See, I think, but I, think, I mean, I think, it's a I harsh mean, point I, you made, I, Chuck, but it's a good, it's, it's a good point. I oh, feel wait. like legitimate points of views, no matter whether you agree or don't agree, I mean, a, a, a point of view is a point of view, and if it's not legitimate, then you don't need to censor it. I mean, I, I, I'm just all about free expression. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I kid, I love, like I always tell my kids, you can always tell me how you feel. You just better not cuss me out. <laughs> right. Exactly. If, 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 if I make a post that says, fuck, 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 I'm going to have 87 people actually comment on my post how inappropriate that is. And I only have 266 friends since I'm rebuilding my <laughs> Facebook page. Thanks, hackers. <laughs> but if I walk down the street going, fuck, 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 everybody's going to go the other fucking way. Correct. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it helps you know, six, four, speaking of still. speaking of that, I'm going to say something that is very Sorry, be extremely controversial right now, like extremely, because I'm a white girl. Ooh. I'm a super white girl. You're and white? And my kids make fun of me because I will say the N-word in certain times, in especially, certain situations, especially with the song I'm singing. Or especially to me, Chase. Or, you know, yeah. Yeah. whatever. What there are the a couple, cases? Chase, you know, by the way. Kids, I don't know how much you follow us, but there are a couple. Okay, yeah, we're a couple. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. And, <laughs> it's fine. I take it. No, but I will, I will say it. I'm not, like a, I'm not, not afraid to say it. Whereas a lot of white people, they're super terrified to say that word. You can't say it, you can't say it, you can't say it. And my kids will give me a hard time and they're like, Mom, you cannot say that. You cannot say that. And they don't care. Like, I'm singing a song and I'm just, like, singing. And they're like, you cannot <laughs> say, Mom, you cannot say that. Say ninja. <laughs> say whatever. But don't say, say that. Ninja. You know, say don't ninja. Say yeah, that. they've said that to And her. I always just, you know, I look I'm at them and the I'm like, you know what? The more that, you know, if the more that you tell people they can't say something, the more they want to say it. So the more you're making that word mean something, it's, make it mean less. Just it's say only, it. It's like only it mean, meaning you if you stop give, the if meaning. You, give, it's, stop giving it meaning. You mentioned George Carlin earlier, one, Chase. Right. So, one, yeah. one thing. One thing. Growing up, that I have had to learn um, when people use that against me, hoping to get a reaction out right. of me, and then looking at them with a smile on my face rather than it didn't bother me. That they're more Aaron, mad yeah. at me. Yeah, that was Aaron. I'm just, okay, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm the white guy on the show. I'm going to say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you can call Aaron. I'm going to say it, everybody. You can call Aaron a nigger all day long. You call him care. Prince, and he's going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, I lose my shit. <laughs> if you're yeah. creative about calling him that. I got in a, fi I got in a big ass fucking bar brawl with a guy because he called me Prince. Because it was clever, Chase. <laughs> It was fucking clever. Was, I didn't like it. He that. was like, he called me the N word without doing it. Yeah, that was and fucking that was that little up. white that ass was punk. I was so mad <laughs> calling me Prince. I was pissed off. And everybody was like, dude, Prince is cool. I'm like, that's not the fucking point. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the point. Dude, I was battling. Yeah. That's but, yeah I'm with you, man. But, you know he, that, but the N word doesn't bother no, all day and, long. And like, it's all about, that, he don't care. it's all about context. Yeah. You know, like George Collins used to like, say, the word is not good or bad. It's the context behind it that makes it good or bad. Why are you saying the word? You know, yeah. we don't get mad I, when I, Eddie Murphy I, I or Richard Pryor them. says nigger because they're niggers. <laughs> That's what was the joke. That's funny. And he's right. He's right. <laughs> yeah, I would love to know what he would say today. Oh, right? Man. Wouldn't you love? I, me too. I would love to know what he would say about today. Dude, I've, and I've, I've George Carlin. He probably yeah. wouldn't tour. He'd be so pissed off about cancel. No, culture. he would. He'd be like, <laughs> no, he I would. have nothing to say. Uh, yeah. Carlin would. Carlin I, would. Honestly, cancel culture you know, is the Carlin, worst. Carlin, before Carlin uh, passed away, he he was talking. To, he really fought that to the day he dropped. Yes, he did. Yes, yeah. he did. Um, he was talking about euthanisms yep. and how yep. it takes away from the original meaning of the yep. meaning. Yep. Uh, yes. Yep. You know, the CIA doesn't kill anybody. They, they neutralize them. them. Yes. <laughs> I get right? you. Man. Yeah. The soft yeah. language. Soft language. Yep. Takes yep. the it takes the heart out of who we are. It's interesting though. 
to think about how today how we've progressed and we're, how we're trying to protect that. too many people it's come to that. and well, we're building we, a bunch of softies. you know what and it's it's a catch-22 because you care you don't want to hurt people and i think that's what hangs us all up is we don't want to hurt people but but you're hurting is that them. the right way to yeah. go about it's still, it it's still hurting the them thing. and they just don't that's know the it. question is that the right way to go about it is just to kind of Wait, smooth it over and not say those words to protect those people? Well, see, to me, it's, if somebody's being honest about how they feel, I might not necessarily like it, but I respect right. a person's honest opinion about something. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I disagree with people all the time on social media, but it's, yeah. it's like how they articulate their point. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because they once might you have get a good to point, name but... calling somebody, <laughs> yeah. Once you get to name calling somebody yeah. and something like that, that's how you know you lost the argument. You lost me, um, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, cause I, I'm not really, I'm not really tangible to any opinion per se, because right. we're all having a different human experience. Yes, thank you. Uh, and yeah. that's that's why I've, I'm very cautious about really forming to any ideology yes. of anything because yeah. it, it just it it promotes division. Right. Absolutely. And I'm um, the same way. Like, I will not say absolutely. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. That's just division, I'm, right? I'm, just, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm neither. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of I'm a bit of everything. I'm a mm -hmm. person. I, I have different opinions about mm -hmm. things that you know. I, I don't like. I can only have like an articulated or I mean conversation about either one of those. If right. I feel like the conversation would be mature enough. Yeah. Um, right. right. Yep. But to me, it's it's so like aggressive to where mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you are, and it's like it's a very gang mentality. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's almost That's a, a cult. It's, it. it's, it's it a cult mentality yep. almost. It is. Uh, and. You know, good for you for being a human. Holy yeah. shit, Chase! Yeah. How about that? No, I, <laughs> you're I, a fucking I mean, human being. I mean, I have, I have friends of all shapes of the water. Like, right. I mean, it's it's, and and I don't because like if I was religious, then I would frown upon certain people for having their experiences. Right. Like, right. We're just a product of what we grew up in. Right. I exactly. just, I one thing I realize is that. I, we have so much more in common with people when you right. take away um, ideology, yep. you know, things, and it's like that's why I, I love talking movies um or because we're all like it's such a commonality kind of coming yeah. together yeah, it's a commonality and that's yeah. one place we can go yeah. besides the person. Oh, I'm gonna be we're all that like, race you know, shit that politics that bullshit that religion all that shit don't really matter because it's a movie yeah because it's yeah. it's it's yeah. and I'm like man i, I it's like it. we're not getting to the root of the problem yeah. of who we are as people like right we, you know like what are you about uh um, yeah so most of the time when I hear, you know, something going towards, you know, religion or politics and stuff, I just, I leave because it's and not, a, yeah, it's not an RT, it's not a, it's not really a coherent conversation from much of that point. Um, you know, yeah. we're people. We are people. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you respect everyone's opinion. Everyone has one and you respect them. Oh, absolutely. It's like everyone has their own different way, but we've all no, kind of lived different lives. I don't want to openly go into a conversation so... about what we don't agree with. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Why do I like that so much? Exactly, because it's the best way. <laughs> I it's love it. I love way. doing it. It's, I don't know why you... Aaron I do. likes that I do. kind of argument. Because I want to see that... how far they'll go. I want to see what they got. What do you got then? I mean, I know why I am who I am. What do you got? Let's see what you got. And let's see how far they'll fucking take it. And sooner or later, we'll see who wins. And more times than not, they don't they don't go the whole way. They got nothing. And I'm like, huh, did you learn know, anything? Man, like, and they don't like, learn anything. You know what? I'm like, figures, because I knew I wouldn't. I knew it was a waste of my time. But why is it still fun? I don't know. I don't know why I do it. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm like, the kind of person I can have a conversation about something I'm really passionate about and be in a very calm manner as long, you know, like, but if the conversation gets to the point where it's starting, I would just get up and walk away. I, I tend to like to f talk about like things at, that makes a person a person. Like, yeah. why do you like that? You know, yeah. what, it, what makes you, you, um, it's kind of like Keith Ledger said when he said that, um, you know, people ask if you're married, people would ask if you have a job, but one thing they don't tend to ever ask you is, are you happy as a right. person? Yeah. 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 And know, that, that makes you really think, right? You know, like that, that makes you really think. This is a, man, we haven't even talked about any of your movies. I fun. know. Um, and we were supposed so, to talk about that, but this has been a great conversation. <laughs> well, no, there, that, but this is movie related too. So I'm... Um, there was a moment, Chase, when I, I reached out to you because you were going through something on set. And we don't have to talk about the situation you went on. I know that there was some drama 
in one of the, mm. the movie sets you were on. And it, it made me start thinking about, like, isn't it weird that they, it, we, we've got two people. Let's say you and I, Chuck. I have my personal look at the situation, right? And then it's a little you, sideways, but yes. And you have it. You have <laughs> one, sideways. too. You have one, too, right? So then you've got these two people that are in a conflict because they see this thing differently, right? And then you've got somebody who goes out and says it and, and, and bad mouths the other person because of their situation. And then you have Although to defend yourself. Although they have yourself. no clue what happened. Right. right. And then you have to defend your position, right? Because they did it. But I think people seem to forget. And they always say, there's two sides of every story. Yes, there are. But here's the thing. I always, no, always, great. always fucking believe one person fucking started something. It's always one. One person said something, did something, was inappropriate about something, but they just don't know. They don't understand that they were because they're too naive. If you nothing, there but, won't be nothing. Yeah, because that person has never had anybody stand up to him before and say something back to them. So they think it's a norm, right? I think it's more. I think it's, it's it drives more me nuts. Than that. It, I think Do it's you? a lot more to elaborate, than that. Elaborate. There, there's, not, there's not two sides. There's three. There's okay. the truth and perception okay, of yeah. how a person sees it. Yeah. Because a lot of times the villain doesn't think they're the villain, right? Oh, Correct. Just absolutely like, not. Sometimes I don't think I'm wrong right then and there. Mm -hmm. But then there's later. a time of perception comes later where I realize I could have definitely handled that. You take accountability. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, Chase, I, answer me instance, this. Oh. Do you like being someone who is open or not in a box and is open to other people's opinions? So let's just say, exactly. like, scenario wise, like someone, you know, you're arguing with someone, you don't agree with them, but they're giving you their point and they're making sense. Do you, and you being the person, because I can tell you are, that would listen to that and actually be like, oh, like there's a point there. No, you absolutely. Because, but being that person, that's, yeah. being that because person makes our you, whole life, yeah. our whole life is merely perception. Right, However you right. want to look at it. Yep. I might look at something completely different. Yeah. And a person might articulate you know, like, I never looked at it from that perspective. Right. There's a lot but to be said like, about being one of those like people that's able to hear that. Though. Six plus six plus three is nine. Four plus five is nine. Both of them are two different answers. Right. But one is right. But it's not just one way. Yeah. And yeah. that being said is I have to look at things and present like of although they might not have said it just the way I said it, they still doesn't mean they don't make a point. Right, and right. But me as a person I've been wrong many times. Me too. But I'm the kind of person once I learn that I'm wrong. Yeah. I try to definitely remove the ego out of the situation. But you being willing to apologize. hear, yeah. you being willing yeah, right. to listen to someone else's point to the to the to the fact where you will be like, oh, maybe I am wrong. No, yeah, is like something I, that I not think, everyone think has. We, that. We're perfect. It's, we're perfect lawyers game. for our own doings. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but yes. When, but but Chase already said it though. When they're when they're spitting gibberish, he leaves. So he's not going to sit there and listen to bullshit. True, and that's my yeah. point. That's my but fucking point. But when someone's making a point is what I'm saying. Well, it depends on what the point is, though. <laughs> but everyone has a point because everyone they has do, a They do, but sometimes there's crazy points that make zero sense. I'm okay, not wasting my time. but you're crazy. I think someone else is normal. I know, I but saying. that's the fight. That's I don't, the I battle. Don't see, I, that's another thing is, too, I don't really believe in the term of normal. We're right. it's definitely because, because you watch Tombstone and you world. listen to fucking yeah, well, Doc Holliday. What is that normal. common denominator? You know, yeah. like when people say at your age, and it's like, I just turned this age. How do I know what it's like? Like, you know, like yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do this. It's new. <laughs> you know, and it's like um, that. Being said, it's I don't I don't know. <laughs> there's a so so the bottom line is there's individuality in people. And that's what's important. And I think everyone's individuality makes them who they are. And that's what's cool about this world is that everyone is different. And if you explore that or you're open to that or you're willing to listen to that, you're going to be a better that's person. A, but you're going to learn shit. A I've learned. That's a double-edged that's double sword. Yeah, that's dope, kind of, but I've a learned. A lot of times when people, well, when people are who they are um, in, in whatever century or whatever time you were born, that can also be a, a curse. But for instance, if you was a lady in the 1800s and you said what you said, they will burn you as a witch. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And that ain't so right. It, it's, absolutely. It's, you can, you, unfortunately, it's very hard to be your 
authentic individual self because that's why a lot of times people they they tend to flock in crowds and they 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 outcast people who are the loners or different, different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they they go with um, the trend yeah it's it's very hard to be yourself but i think that's stupid and i think there's a way that we could all it's, stop that it's, it's actually funny I really I, do. Uh, go ahead <laughs> sophia got me wrapped into going back into watching american horror story I don't know if you guys have ever been a fan oh, of a uh, yeah, Gary yeah. story. Yeah. Okay, so I went back one, and I was just watching. I was just watching 1984, and it's funny, even though it's a, it looked like a good thing. There's the part in 1984 where somebody, you know, they they, they show the, the the newspaper clipping of Richard Ramirez. He's in the store, and then all the locals are chasing him down the street, and they catch him and they beat the shit him and he gets arrested. The problem is, is that's the exact mob mentality that we have on social media too. Well, yeah, that's what it was. We get the same mob mentality when you get a whole bunch of people together who kind of think the same way when one person's talking louder that everybody just follows suit. Well, look, that's the part that throws my brain off. I've, well, that, you know, with, it was like, you know, yeah, she would have been burned as a witch. 120 years ago, if you guys were talking this much, you wouldn't be doing much better. Yeah. it's It sucks. <laughs> go back go back to George Carlin. What did he say? He loves, he, he, he loves people. people. He loves people. He can't stand groups of them. Mm-hmm. Right. That was this thing. And well, you know, yeah. that's exactly his point. And that's kind of the thing. People as individuals, yeah. I don't like people as a group. group. I don't like because people. they go against yeah. others, yeah. other people. Yeah. And that's that mentality. And that's you know, that's what, that yeah. the Republicans, that's the fucking Democrats, that's the fucking church people. When you get them all together, something changes. Well, but individually, you... he could sit there and talk to one of them and be just fine. Yeah, and that's because... absolutely true. Yeah. Huh. Yep. It's because funny. there's no, there's no, it, once you have a crowd or a group of people that agrees with you or believes in what you believe in, there, that it's easier to stand up it's for over. that yeah. and go against people. But the thing is, honestly, like, is it really worth it to go against one person about how they feel? Like when we all feel fucking different, <laughs> that's what's dumb that's to the, me. That's the thing. It, it takes, it takes a really strong personality for, and that's, that was the one reason I married my wife is. She probably has the most, um, the strongest personality of a, of a person I've, I've ever met. My wife, if awesome. she thinks it and she really believes it, yeah. she's going to express herself. Awesome. Um, that's and that's where I, for better or for worse, um, I can say she's definitely my best friend uh, because I know that she won't lie to me. Right. Um, for example, I, I, I went all out on a Christmas present <laughs> and um, <laughs> it wasn't something she tried it and she learned to like it, but she's not going to lie. Wait, to wait, me. who stuck their head in? Tell them to come here. That was my wife. Oh, come my, here. you know come what? Here. Come in here, girl. Come here. You're... If you're playing peekaboo, <laughs> we get to meet you. Hi. Hi. Hey. Nice. Nice Greetings and salutations. You. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Good to see you. Yeah. I told him I didn't like it. I know. We're taking them all the time. I know that. <laughs> then she hurt my feelings on Christmas. Then she came in crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the Wait, thing what is, did you, you get her? Yeah, we're dying to know what you got her. What'd you get her? I got her an outfit from Victoria's Secret. Oh. <laughs> and no, but and what she happened? Mobs like, off. how'd it go down? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he did. Well, bye. <laughs> I, she got comfortable with it, you know. I got comfortable with it eventually, but. Did you realize he bought? Is it? Were you I'm angry because he bought him? <laughs> Wait, I, I've got to ask you. Were you angry because you realized he? Bought but if I don't call present. her beautiful, then I don't think she's beautiful. <laughs> then if I say she's beautiful, I must not mean it. Chase you up, a Listen, perfect wife. Yeah. <laughs> what what is, is, what is, what is, what is, I'll say it again because he wanted to overtalk me because he didn't do. He didn't want to hear the answer. <laughs> Were you angry because basically buying you something nice from Victoria's Secrets was buying himself a present? Oh, because it is, right? Because he thought you would look good in it, and he likes the way oh, you look. Oh, I see where you're going. Like if he got her a blender. That's actually a good point. <laughs> or no! a toaster or something. Yeah, well, I get it. I mean, it. a blender yeah. could be good, no, too, because you can make something no, good out of it. No, I didn't like it because, um, well, it was a... Uh... <laughs> you can say whatever you want. This is not say a kid friend. This, this is a family it. friendly, this is a, and everybody this likes the show. This is our show. Just say it. It was... It was a uh, at your comfort level. A belly shirt, and oh. I don't really wear belly shirts. Gotcha. And um, I guess he wanted me to wear it. I don't know. <laughs> so I thought she would like it. It showed off your midriff, it, and you it wasn't something that turned you on. The thing, the, here's the thing. With her, Go ahead, man. Explain it away. And my kids, <laughs> and my kids say the same thing. With her, she don't spend a lot of time talking about what she does like. 
I hear mostly of what she does doesn't like. like, right? That's me. Understandable. That's, I get it. Yeah. Very true. That's actually very true. Uh, it's Mess, very true. Might, might I ask you a, a personal question? Would okay. you prefer a tankini? You know, tankini oh, covers yeah. everything down. We all have to know covered. the answer now. Yeah. I don't even know. Would you prefer a tankini? They sell those at Victoria's Secret too. The question's Probably. been asked. Is that okay, better? Would go. that be Chase, better than a mid-range? I just hooked you up for Mother's Day. Gotcha. What's really Thank weird you. is that Chuck Don't understand. That Chuck's got the whole fucking wardrobe of Victoria's Secrets down. Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you know that? Aaron hell? doesn't know that. I don't that know shit. any of that shit. I'm too busy making fucking movies. What the fuck? It was that? a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> nice meeting you, hon. Yes. I'm like, Jesus. Nice you're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Right here. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's a yeah, we we yeah. talked about things I was not prepared to talk about. My mind. Right? Uh, no. No, he won't be kids. <laughs> we we just no. killed him with Either. all the worst I'm questions. <laughs> on around the real, he won't be kids. Everybody. No, no it. one's gonna cancel yeah. you. I'm sure about that? <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, 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 Absolutely. Anyone who cancels you doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, you never know with him. That's the thing. You never just know what's gonna come out of his mouth. Wait till you get him started on his impressions because he can do uh, we, well, we didn't even get we there. heard his we heard his schwarzenegger see out and started a new conversation uh, well no I did, I did i did the arnold schwarzenegger yes he did oh, he, and he did, did it very well arnold. he did he it very well lot. he can do a lot of them well because oh, i was no talking shit. about um how um that stream yard at remember when i told you i walked in and they were like uh, i went into a chat and they were doing like a thing. oh yeah like, he told us about that right off the bat Oh wow! Yeah, I, I, that. I was like, I like um, she's like, but why are you talking about it again? Different turn because I don't remember you saying. No, I was like, okay. yeah, I, 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 what? I, I still don't know what it was. <laughs> what is your name? I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry, Samantha. I don't know That's Miss Samantha oh, Dudley. What? Samantha. Yep. Same name as you, oh, Sam. Word. I forget what I say. Her name's Samantha. Yeah. Oh, oh my really? name is Samantha. Yeah. yeah. AKA it's Boo Boo Kitty Fo. It okay. is a thing. Yeah. Do you like to be called Sam too? No words needed, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she likes it. She prefers Sam. Yeah, I do Sam, yeah. See, I think of I think of Sam from Ghost. I uh, like Sam yep. Ellie, so I'm oh, like, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. call another woman Sam. <laughs> well, see, this is what happened. My brother got together with another Samantha. And she's Samantha, so I am Sam. Sam. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> well, when I was growing up, my sister Sammy Whammy. Oh, I get Sammy Whammy too, or like, like Sam oh I am, gosh. all that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what did I always say? I, the I, best name. Did though. I say Sam I am? Sam I am. Sammy Whammy. Oh, hey, awesome. Chuck, you know what? So like Chase is in a sandwich right now. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, Sam is going to look. <laughs> yeah, he is in a sandwich. <laughs> Welcome right. to the stream yard chat room. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's going Sorry, on in Chase, here? Between okay. two Sams. <laughs> I right. wonder if they were, like, even, uh, I mean, like, taken by it that I left the chat. You know, like, <laughs> I know, like, where did it, what happened? <laughs> All right, so okay. Samantha, it was nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Nice to meet you. Take care, darling. Thank you so See much. You guys later. But before yes. we leave, let's talk something about oh. the movies that Chase, Chase makes. Yes. For yeah, let's, a moment let's, at least. Give him a give him the mic, Chase. Please take the mic so we can get the and the show and give your shit, evening back. Because we never got there. What's what's going <laughs> on with you with movies, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> Well, right now, um, we are um, doing in the middle of a crowdfunding for Blood on the Bleachers, which is um, a 90s throwback slasher inspired by Scream, which I spent about 10 minutes on of why it's my favorite uh, horror movie ever. And uh, but of course, it has its own tropes and uh, amazing plot. But it's just one of those movies I wanted to show because I realized out of all the movies I have made, I have never done a slasher film. And I'm pretty shocked. Um, is this a full but, length? When, is it full length? Well, yeah, because when I, when I first started out, like, I was trying to do different movies that everyone wasn't making. Yeah. And um, so I basically, everybody goes towards the wave I was running from it. But then I see why it's important to follow a trend. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, like, when I decided I really wanted to do the slasher, I didn't know that the 90s era horror films are, are it's all back coming back. Yeah. So I'm like, this is perfect timing because I was going to yeah. do this movie regardless because I just could not believe. I was on a podcast and I was about to name a horror film. I'm like, I have never done a horror film. It was shocking to me. It was like, I was Bruce Willis and this was the end of Sixth Sense and I did not realize it. <laughs> 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 but 
I was like, I really got to change that. Um, but because I always loved horror, mm-hmm. um, I just never done one because almost everybody in the indie world is doing that. Right. I, I, I really wanted to try to be authentic different. and different, but yeah. I still can be that and make Absolutely. the horror movie I want to make. Yep. Goddamn right. You, you can. sure can. Goddamn yeah. Right. And you are, and you stand out. And I think that's why we kind of like gravitated towards you and wanted you on this show because you're definitely different in this world and this indie world and this creative world and everything and that's important honestly like no one's gonna notice you if you're not different yeah you gotta be an individual so, like so we talked about we earlier yeah that about i'm definitely you. an individual and yeah. that, that's why i don't really i don't do well in groups um i don't conform <laughs> I, do, yeah. I I've, I've always done my own thing and i i never you know, like when I make a movie, I go home. I don't go to parties. I don't. Um, I don't. You know, drink or anything with um, co-stars or anything. I just I go home to my family, um, and you know, spend time with my ki- my kids. Um, and you know, um, I'll go to film events and stuff like that. And I'll I'll do like the but the the nighttime I just go home to my family. You but know, that was, uh, that's what proves the point that you're into your craft. Yep. And that's, yeah, that's your, the point. you know, and yeah. that is the point. That's and that's, the point. that's what matters. Oh, and that's what stand I, out. Yeah. So I think that's cool. About you, ran out. Oh, that's man. okay. We got to end this, wrap this up anyway. Yeah. But thank oh, you yeah, for no, your time. It, it was Seriously. Great. We had, we had a lot of conversations. But it's we, been a blast. Like, we <laughs> yes, got to, like, but, when are but, we going to do the next but that, one? But, the, but at least you know that, like, you got a lot from me. Because, um, of course, usually I, I, I'm kind of really kind of self aware of, like, I'm not going to take that bait, <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like this was a conversation. I really feel like that needs to, to happen more. I'm not afraid of conversations. I love Me too. intellectual conversations and um, we're just, you know, like kind of living such a, a funny thing where somebody probably will listen to this whole thing and pick apart things that I said and like, hot seat chase, hot seat. Uh, he loves so much most of our word. listeners like, actually to be to surprise you most of our listeners are actually they get it they're yeah we've, so we've got good. No, yeah, I'd say, so I good. figured again I wasn't even thinking about it that's the point I was yeah. telling you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, oh, when, yeah. We, um, when we started this it's show it's a conversation Chase. yes it's a conversation I, I just I like conversations and, and like you said words are words like I just I can't believe the things that people love have power over them yeah to, me neither um so much more than that man um and aaron it seems like we grew up in a very similar um climate like i, I see like a lot of similarities between us um yeah there's a lot. I, that's pretty cool i was that's trying not to get into it too much because i didn't want to talk about myself i was trying not to <laughs> let it happen because i knew once you two guys started, yeah if we talk <laughs> yeah, you, you and i yeah. you guys are so about. much alike like seriously lot. like he's the same i mean you guys are the same nerd. you grew no, up on I, movies i, 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 got, I gathered that quickly at the top but yeah. i really if if i must be honest i i really seen similarities to all three of you all of things that i've seen and it's just the kind of the friend um you know like so, I mean, I, I didn't have very friendships very long because I was always gravitating to um, being who I was. And I just didn't have time to be a good friend, I guess, because I mean, I, I wouldn't say I, I guess I wouldn't say that because like the things they wanted to do is just the formal yeah, drink and, and, yeah. and it's like, right? it's I'm not the same place, things, but it. I, I was trying to be in my right state of mind. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, is and that, that like stay in your I, lane? Is that kind of It wasn't similar, fun. Like stay in your yeah. Lane kind of Partying thing? and going out and getting fucked up is not fun. Never. You know, but going home and, it, but going home and watching a movie that you're excited about that sounds fucking fun. fun, right? Yeah, because as soon as I watch something and it gets that like screen two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. That, no, that was... That was me. You ain't um, alone. You ain't alone. You're not alone you ain't at alone. all. You and Aaron are like, hey man, and they'd be like, hey man, come on, let's party. No man, I'm so busy. I'm yeah, busy. I'm, yeah, I got to rearrange my sock drawer. Then you're putting on the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So yeah, I just, I've always um, was really in tune, and like people who check on me now, they're like, man, I knew you were gonna do movies because that's all you were talking about. You were doing and. Um, I definitely want to be one of those crazy people where I say I'm going to do something and then 20, 30 years later, I'm still saying I'm going to do that something that I was talking about 20, 30 years ago. And then like, so, cause there's some people where 
n- not to be rude, like they but they say it, and I know that they're not going to do it. And I'm like, mm, yep, that that you are. Nope. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I know wow. we're about to wrap this up. I'm gonna pee my pants, so I'm gonna say okay. something real quick, and I'm gonna <laughs> dip on you guys, and okay. then you guys can end the show. We'll close the show. Yeah. But you know what, Chase? We we saw something in you like a long time ago, and that's why we kind of wanted you on our show because you're definitely our kind of people. Just because you're authentic and you're unique and you do your thing and you don't give a shit what other people really think. Yep. And we think no, that's no, amazing because no. that's where we're, we're at. Very narcissistic you know what? You can't women. worry about it. You can't. You, you can't. can't worry about it. And so respect for you. And thank you for finally being on our show. Oh, no, thank you for having me on. And again, yeah, we, super we fun. are in such a narcissistic climate of, oh, honestly. of, um, inner, I mean, of artists that... Yeah. Um, it's, it's crazy of some of the things that my wife and I hear about ourselves that apparently that I didn't even know about. I, yeah, Chase, um, you tell me about it. <laughs> hey, I'll say it. You don't have to say it. Yeah. No. You want to say hi? Oh. Hi. What's Who up, baby? This? What's up, baby? Say hi. Hey, hey baby. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, so. sweetie. Look at you. <laughs> just the sweetest. Now, just because there's a baby on the screen, Sam might actually sit here and piss her I face. I know, like yeah. all pee my face. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll have to go change her fucking diaper. No, <laughs> stop. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Or say, I will be two, two? Uh, in five days. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. We have a two year old here, too. Big. I love his That's shirt. Oh my God. When he was born, he was 10 pounds and six ounces. Oh my goodness. A big old and baby. And he was a big baby. You got a truck? And you got a truck? He's got a truck. Oh my God. No, he has a school bus. And oh, is it bus? I tell you what. If he does not have that school bus in his hand, <laughs> let me see your when, he's, when he's asleep, oh, you were handing me a school bus? Are you handing me a car? Show him your school bus. Let Show me see your, your bus. bus. Can I see your bus? You can love it. Can I see your bus? bus? He's getting shy now. Bryson, can, can I, I see your bus? See, can I see your bus? Let me can see you your, your bus. bus? I'll I'll show him your bus. I want to see your bus. Show him your bus. I'm really done. Show him your bus. Show him your school bus. I really want off this podcast. Shut up. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Say the wheels on the bus go round and round. That's so cool. Round and round and round. Uh, we're, 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 we're about wrapping up. Yeah, we're wrapping up. But All hey, right. Thank you for showing me your best. <laughs> nice to meet you, little guy. If you're not going to get off the show, here, oh. take the kid. Oh. <laughs> ours, is, ours is about trains. So it's all about trains for ours. It's not yours. It's your grandchild. It's, it's my child. grandchild. Uh, all right. Well, Chuck. Cool bus, man. Cool bus. <laughs> Let's let's close was, the show out, Chuck, so my man can go and deal with it. All right, Chase, thank family. you so much for joining us down the road. No, thank, thank you, you for so hanging. Thank you for hanging out for an afternoon of conversations of drinking, hanging out, and talking about everything <laughs> but fucking movies that we make. The good thing is, is we didn't able to talk about ourselves, Watch and you didn't get to talk about yourself. However, we did talk about everything social and what's wrong in the world and the way people treat each other. Now. Now, you and Aaron have a lot in common. I'm not going to say that just because of your skin tone. It's because of the way you guys grew up. But the most important thing to remember is that we're all doing something to be creative. And that no matter what I say, nobody is paying attention to the fucking word coming out of my mouth because that baby is too fucking cute. So the important thing, everybody, is to remember to think hard because you think anyway. We love you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> see everybody later. The wheels on the bus go round and round. For those of you that want to be a guest on Around the Real, please email Sam at AroundTheReal253 at gmail.com. That's AroundTheReal253 at gmail.com. Not Messenger. Do not message Aaron on Messenger because then he has to send you a message that says email Sam at AroundTheReal253 at gmail.com. That's around the real 253 at gmail.com. How come they can't just message me again? Because nobody wants to fucking talk to you. <laughs> Can anybody reach out that's an artist, filmmaker, actor? If you're an artist of any kind, we want to hear from you. But we are going to vet the crap out of you. We don't care if you make millions of dollars in Hollywood or if you're just beginning your career in the art industry. We don't care. So everybody that wants to be on Around the Real, yes, we want you. That's around the real 253 at gmail.com.